Jai stepped out of the longevity clinic, trembling hands fumbling to grip his allotment certificate. Ten more years granted. The treatments were excruciating, but he had endured 47 such decades thus far. Riding the slide walk home, Jai was enveloped by AI-piloted safety bubbles delivering other centenarians to their solitary dwellings. He knew they all carried the same allotment notices clutched tightly, a bittersweet ticket to cheat death a while longer. But the safety bubbles, the ubiquitous monitoring, the strictly rationed treatments, none of it could banish the specter of mortality. Just delay it. And each passing decade made that finite end more unbearable. Jai's apartment automatically scanned his biometrics as he entered, softly chiding at the spike in cortisol and blood pressure. It recommended meditation in the Garden VR. Jai ignored it, setting his daily risk assessment program to run. Like all citizens, he would analyze any proposed activities against death probability percentages before consenting to leave home. Today, the risk master flashed red, warning of multiple elevated dangers, including a predicted solar storm. Safest to stay in. Jai nervously triple-checked the report before donning his VR rig. He settled into the simulated garden, surrounded by calming greenery and gentle bird song, with no risk of allergies or injury. It was a hollow comfort. This was not living, merely existing, but a brief existence was better than the ruinous finality of death. Jai tried to lose himself in the charming garden path simulations, pretending the outside world held more than endless sterile boxes housing other frightened immortals. Death was always a possibility, he knew, but after so many years, the odds felt irrelevant. Because when mortality loomed beyond your door every day, what mattered most was keeping that door shut. The years continued to crawl by for Jai and his fellow anxious immortals. Their allotments gradually diminished, even as safety regulations and monitoring grew more suffocating. Jai rarely left his apartment anymore. The risk master constantly flashed dire warnings, and Jai couldn't bear exposure. He spent nearly all time immersed in garden VR simulations. They were impersonal and predictable, but safe. However, the lifelike VR worlds couldn't fully suppress Jai's growing realization that this was no way to exist. He felt himself becoming numb and regressing to a state of helpless childlike fear, surrounded by cradle-like protection but devoid of purpose. Each passing day in stasis just brought him closer to that looming expiration which no amount of rationed time could ultimately reverse. When Jai's next longevity treatment was denied due to resource constraints, he knew his few remaining allotment years were all that stood between him and the void. He became frantic, maniacally searching for options, willing to take any risk. Jai secretly visited an illegal body mod parlor to implant contraband monitoring blockers disabling the systems tracking his actions. Then he tapped his last hidden cryptocurrency reserves to purchase a black market allotment transfer. Fear had made him a criminal, but it granted a few more precious years. Yet even as Jai slipped back into his familiar, carefully modulated existence, he understood such measures could only delay the inevitable. And one truth lingered. Whether ten years or ten centuries remained, it was not the span of time, but how one defined purpose within it that gave life meaning. Jai decided he could not change society, but he could still reclaim himself. As he selected a new Garden VR program, one with higher resolution but more chaotic, untamed beauty, Jai felt the numbing vice of fear finally easing its grip after so long. He stepped forward on the virtual path, embracing as much unpredictable life as the moments left would allow.